It just helps you a lot. You can work at your own pace and get ahead of the game. Hello students, today we're looking at 10.6, factoring AX squared plus BX plus C. In this method, uh, I've kind of reversed the whole pattern of teaching. Right when I got to kind of the smart board technology in my room, I, I saw that I had a, a screen capture technology and I, I, so I could record everything I did on the screen. So I can see my two answers right here for number one. The notes are done at home. They come in with those easy problems done and then they're inside the class to complete the hard problems, uh, talk to their friends about the problems, uh, ask me questions. The first thing you do to get your notes is you go to Edline and you click on your algebra page and then you would go to the notes section, then you would click on the notes and it would download. You open them up in iTunes and then you can watch them on your computer. Hello students, today we're looking at 10.6 factoring AX squared plus BX plus C. And then you can go through all the notes and at the end you have to write two questions that you didn't get about the notes or you have about the notes to ask in class and then you have to um, start your homework so that you can finish it in class the next day. I would set up the lecture, go through the lecture in class and then give the kids about five minutes to work on their homework. And the first five minutes they seemed to be fine inside the class because generally the first few questions of the math assignment were the easier ones just kind of helping them through the ideas and, and then the more complicated problems came at the end of the assignment and in that case students were at home. I always felt that there were some kids that maybe had some questions that could never really get answered and so in this method uh, I've kind of reversed the whole pattern of teaching and what I noticed inside a class you know prior to this I could have a seat at my desk and take a look at so you know how the kids are doing and, and sometimes I'd have to give them reminders to stay on track and things like that to focus on math but once I started the new teaching it, all their conversation was about math because they kind of felt okay I'm not the only kid that doesn't get it I see that there's four or five other kids that are kind of struggling with this concept so they could then feel more free to ask and more confident in their abilities to ask. I think the best thing about doing the notes at home and stuff is by understanding everything then just starting your homework you can get all the easy things done and then focus on the hard problems in class with Mr. Hennon where you can sit there and answer them for you or help you out trying to guide you to the right answer. You can work on the harder problems with homework in class and either get Mr. Hennon's help or other classmates help so you don't have to work at home and try to figure it out on your own. I think the notes are really unique because you can like put them on pause and like um, relook over them over and over again if you don't get the problem and so I think that's a really great part of it. And this one one student says wow I never realized how much I I'd ha I paused the notes because he just couldn't keep up with what I was doing on the board and so I think the big benefit there is that the kids can take a look at the notes at their own speed they can rewind, rewatch a problem, say, okay, now I get it. Um, that one exposure to them inside the class, they're not going to catch it all. And so here, it's basically they can go at their own pace, take the notes, rewind, watch that example again, maybe look for connections. Then the next day, if they still have questions, I, I open up my class with, hey, do we have any questions about the lecture itself? And that's why in number two it says, write a linear equation that you can use to approximate. We're not going to be exact with this, but we've got to figure out some sort of approximation. And then once I take questions from the lecture, the kids will then start working on their assignment and, um, you know, they're, they're asked to complete their assignment by the end of the hour. The online notes really helped me because uh, I could go over them multiple times. Before tests or quizzes, you could go over the notes and, like, listen to like him explain them again. When we were in class, we could ask um, pretty much anyone questions that we had about the hard problems. Students, thank you very much for taking a look at 10.6. I know this is challenging and please come in ready with um, some problems started and some questions ready for me and your classmates. See you tomorrow.